We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Wong Ki Min, who is Director General of Science, ICT and Forward Planning of the Republic of Korea and has been nominated to officiate as Chairman of ITU's Plenipotentiary Conference in 2014. Mr. Min, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. My pleasure. Thank you for inviting me here. The conference, comprising 193 member states, mm -hmm. will be meeting in Busan in the Republic of Korea in 2014. What can delegates expect as they land in Busan? Busan is the second largest city in Korea with 3.5 million population. And it is also famous for its hospitality, wonderful food, and nice scenery. So you can expect best things from Busan. And it also has a good reputation as a, as a city to host international events, such as ITU Telecom Asia event, which was held in 2004 in Busan. And it also hosted 2005 APEC Summit meeting. And it has wonderful facility to host this kind of international event. So I do believe that all of our delegations who will come to Busan have a wonderful time in Busan. And what would you say is the view of the people of Korea in hosting such a meeting? To the Korean people, this is the IT World Cup Games. Like World Cup Games, IT plenipotential meeting is held in every four years. So Korean people see this event as an IT World Cup Games. And the last time, the Asia-Pacific region hosted this event was 1994 in Kyoto. So this is a kind of second event in the Asia-Pacific region to host this important event. And Korean people are very proud to host this event in Busan, Korea. Plenipotentiary 14 will cover important issues pertaining to the future of ITU, its strategic and financial plans, as well as the election of its top management. That'll be quite a challenge for you to manage as a chairman of the uh, conference, I would imagine. Yes, it is very challenging. Especially when you look at the timing of this event. This event will be held just before the 105th anniversary of ITU. And this event will be also held just one year before the target year of UNMDZ and WISIS. So I think this is a great opportunity for ITU to look back on its 150-year his history through this event and also to establish new vision for the future. In the meantime, as a chairman, I have to deal with this issue of election and financial issues. I, I'm, I'm committed to work together with member countries and the secretariat to find out the ways to find the best candidates for the election post, at the same time to find out solutions to provide a stable and sustainable growth path for the ITU in the future. Mr. Min, thank you very much indeed uh, for your time today, and I look forward to catching up with you again in Busan and Korea. Thank you for having me here, and I'm also looking forward to seeing you in Busan.